from October, Red Tractor is introducing changes to the assessment and standards of its dairy accreditation scheme. It hopes that the changes will encourage smarter ways of checking compliance, as well as getting farmers to think more carefully about welfare. Basically, there's three changes coming in from the 1st of October this year. First one to do with a health plan, so the farmer needs to record a few bits more information to do with incidents of calf mortality and involuntary curls. And they also need to involve the vet in the review of that data, who will hopefully recommend actions if they see some underlying problems. The second is a recommendation to mobility score, so a farmer doesn't have to do it, but it is best practice, so we're introducing that as a recommendation. And the third is actually a change to the assessment, so the farmer won't see uh, a big change there, but it just means the assessor will be focusing a bit more on the cows um, by doing scoring on 10 cows for body condition, mobility, hair loss, season, swelling and cleanliness. You know, the cows in milk, the decine, the calves, dry cows, any of the young stock, stock bulls, okay? Yeah. I think these are a really good idea. They certainly move the, um, the red tractor standards forward and allow us to talk more clearly to our customers about animal welfare and what British farmers are doing to make sure that our record on animal welfare is second to none. I think there's always a bit of a fear of the unknown, but I think once people actually see it on the ground and understand what's involved, A, they will see that it isn't actually that much of an additional burden, and B, I feel convinced that they will understand that it's a benefit to their businesses in terms of more involvement with the vet and improved performance from their cows.